We're going around the region and this time we're gonna specifically zero in on the things that are happening in our various Caribbean countries as we all work toward renewable energy. So we're going around the region and our first stop is in Barbados where the government and the International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, co-hosted a conference to bring together key stakeholders in the Caribbean region to accelerate the transition to renewable energy. Here's a look at what that conference entailed. Over three days, participants engaged in fruitful discussions exploring ways to accelerate the transition to a sustainable energy landscape. We uh, have uh, uh, started to work on building a good pipeline of projects. We have received 400 proposals for projects around the world, uh, mainly from, naturally from the least developed countries, the small islands. And uh, a, a part of it has attracted our interest and, uh, because we are, we are following and um, as a national energy agency. We are working with the proper end to prepare the project documentation. We are also working on assessing the marketability of the projects and then we present the project to our partners. During the conference, key figures explored avenues to address the specific challenges faced by Barbados and other small island developing states. The International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, played a crucial role in facilitating these discussions. Hosted by the government of Barbados and IRENA through the SIDS Lighthouses Initiative and in partnership with the Caribbean Climate Smart Accelerator and the Caribbean Development Bank, the conference brought together experts to address crucial topics such as scaling up renewable energy investments, creating a robust project pipeline and accessing finance for sustainable projects. The IRENA conference marks a significant step towards achieving a greener and more sustainable future in the region. Over in Jamaica, the Digital Foundation is reaffirming its commitment to fostering a safe, sustainable and healthy environment with the launch of its Good Energy Clean Environment grant program. Forward Step Foundation, a community-based NGO, was a recent recipient of the grant. I'm Denver Williams, director here at Forward Step Foundation. Forward Step has been around for more than 15 years now. It all started out um, with us as young people wanted to do something for the community in terms of um, stepping away from violence. Forward Step right now, as you see, we have solar energy that a grant recently from Digital Foundation, and that's a plus. Targeting organizations in community across Jamaica will eventually trickle down to let people aware of this um, the environmental crisis that we do face each daily. A total of 35 million Jamaican dollars in grants will be offered by the Digital Foundation to assist community-based groups across Jamaica that are dedicated to making a positive impact on the environment. And in Dominica, the government is in the process of constructing a geothermal power plant. This is a part of the country's mission to supply homes and businesses with clean energy and reduced energy import bills. We hear more about this from the Government Information Service of Dominica. The geothermal reservoir which exists in the Roseau Valley is believed to have a power generation capacity which far exceeds the needs of the local market for the foreseeable future. Due to its underground location, it is basically weatherproof fully renewable and contains near zero emissions. Investments in geothermal infrastructure last for decades, requiring only routine maintenance. Geothermal energy is safe as drilling takes place in a reservoir and not a volcano. There are three components of a complete geothermal project and they are the production and reinjection wells, the power plant and connection to the electricity grid. Thus far, two production wells have been drilled in Loda, and drilling of a reinjection well is currently ongoing. Great stuff right there. Thank you so much, Sharika Thompson, working that round the region for us. Uh, still ahead, we're going to do a throwback. Yep, yep. And we're going to show you what else Florida's TCI is up to when it comes to 